All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, the Turner Construction Lightning Round. Uh, Thank you to Turner for bringing this to us. You know, uh, Turner Construction, as we talked about earlier, uh, is the contractor for the very cool Radius Project at uh, 50th and Grand Avenue in North Omaha, uh, which will uh, provide treatment services for kids in need. And uh, that's just one of many projects that Turner does. Uh, They do a lot of small build-outs as well, uh, famous around here for the massive Sarpy County Data Center. And Trenton, by the way, that Sarpy County Data Center, they, they've they they've said nine buildings so far, but there's a lot more land being graded to the south and the southwest of the most recent building. Turner's going to be on that project for a long time. That's a big project. Well, I tell you what, if you have a project, big, medium, or little, um, one of the best contractors on the entire planet is Turner. So we recommend that you reach out to them and they will take good care of you. So let's get started with the news. The second location for Julio's has now opened. You know, Julio's had been around for many, many years. Uh, they they went out and then a new owner uh, bought the rights, opened up one at 192nd and Q, and now the one in the former Jack and Mary space in Miracle Hills is up and operating. Absolutely. Um, I love Acadian Grill next door. Yeah, you know, that is a good place. I was just there for uh, lunch with a friend, and we sat outside, and that place is tough to beat. That's pretty good Cajun food. All right, other news items of note. The former U.S. Bank office building on the northeast corner of 132nd and West Dodge Road is going to become an enterprise bank. Yeah. And uh, that means that Enterprise Bank must be growing. Enterprise Bank is is local. They have locations in the Regency neighborhood as well as 132nd and Center. And that building, I don't know if they're planning on leasing any of it out or using it themselves, but it's quite a bit bigger than any building they have right now. Yeah, but it's a bank building, so it shouldn't take too much to make it work. Well, when you put it that way, the Beanery has opened another location, and this one is on 168th and Giles, a little bit south of Giles. The Beanery has, it's a coffee shop, and they have locations, Papillion, Gretna, a couple others around the metro area. This one is kind of unique, though, because it is actually constructed of old shipping containers. They have one on top of the other. There's a drive through The drive through actually goes under part of the the, the top shipping container. Um, I have not yet tried it, but I've gone by and, and uh, taken a look at it. Pretty cool place. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to check it out. That's not too far from uh, from Trenton's neighborhood. Did you see that article in the World Herald about corn crib coffee? I did see it. They were featuring, uh, what, the three high school senior uh, sisters? Identical triplets. Yeah, three sisters that are running it. I like the picture of the the vines growing all over the outside of the corn crib, but uh, that's, that's Scott and Wendy Moore's uh, daughters. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we know Scott Moore. Absolutely. It's near other people uh, like who's Scott Moore. Sixteenth and Fort. He's an auctioneer and also in our business, commercial real estate. That is very very cool. Check it out when they open up again. Well, um, next up on the list is a new wine, beer, and spirits retailer by the name of Macadoodles. Macadoodles. They're going to open their first Iowa or Nebraska location in Omaha. It'll be a to-be-constructed building at 3409 South 72nd Street. That's basically the development that's going in uh, where they tore out the old Ramada Coco Key Hotel uh, near 72nd and I-80. McAdoodles is based in Missouri. They have 10 existing locations, nine of them in Missouri, one of them in Arkansas. Each store is stocked with 4,000 wine labels, um, 600 beer varieties. Opening is planned for next year. So this will be just the latest. You know, we already have wine, beer, and spirits as put to metro area locations. You got, uh, or no, that's wall to wall. And then wine, beer, and spirits by Oakview Mall. Right. So a lot of the liquor superstores are becoming popular. Apparently, when everybody started drinking during the pandemic, it stuck. Yeah, no one has given it up, apparently, since the pandemic. This McAdoodles is also going to be very close to a a Fairfield Inn by Marriott Hotel, which is also under construction. 
If you like this video, be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And remember, Grow Omaha is not just media. This is a mission. We are trying to build up Omaha and make it an even better place. We can only do that with your help. Share this video with your friends, neighbors, and family.